It's totally the walking to trailer. And yes! I am so fing excited! I should I just wanted to save my sister and keep Peter alive. Miss Everdeen. It's the things we love most that destroy us. I feel like the series, I don't know, it seems a little overdone. Got the pin. Still haven't read any of them. Oh, I want that. I want everyone who's watching to lay down their weapons now. You're alive. Hey, <laughs> my bae. Peter is the cat. Every when time I see Woody Harrelson, I just can't. I can't take him seriously. You will rescue Peter at the earliest opportunity, or you will find another Mockingjay. You said it, Cat. Don't let them push you around. I remember, like the first, I was like, "What is? What is this?" The second one, I'm like, "Yes, this is good." And then the third one, I'm like, "Oh, Natalie, that chick from uh, Game of Thrones is in it." Yeah. There's like hardcore guns and explosions in this one. I'm so hyped for this. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. <laughs> I want to see this movie so bad. How does an arrow take out a plane? Wait, part one? Part one? No! I can't wait. Oh my god. Sometimes at school I do that whistle and every once in a while I get a response and it's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> So have you seen the first two Hunger Games movies? No. I haven't seen any of them. I've only seen the first one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I have seen both. I have, yes. I have seen the first two movies. Of course I have. I watched it like seven times in two days. <laughs> Not a lot of people haven't watched the Hunger Games. I know. I don't know why they haven't interested me. If I had seen that without knowing what it was, I think that was some like really cool war movie and I would want to go see it. But now I'm like, oh, I don't know. So it looks good to you, but because it's the Hunger Games, you're not interested. <laughs> Explain that. Don't, don't believe the hype. Did you enjoy the first two movies? Yeah, they were, they were good. I like the second one a lot better than the first. I enjoyed both of them immensely, but I definitely think the second one was better. I think they change too much or they leave out too much or they just overdo it in the movies. First movie did not do the book justice, but then the second movie, because they got a new director, really like was accurate to the book. And so I'm really hoping that because they're doing Mockingjay in two movies, that they're gonna really stick to the book. Do you feel that when a movie or a TV show is based on a book that comes out and makes people read the books more, do you think it makes them read it less? I feel, yeah, like if, if people know of the movie before they read it, then they're they're definitely gonna wait for the movie. Definitely is another excuse not to read the book because why would you if it's gonna be played out right in front of you? I want to say that it it like encourages kids to like read the books more, but it really doesn't. My sister, she's watched both of the both of the Hunger Games, but she refuses to read it. She's just like, no, I'm not down. I don't like reading. I don't want to read that. And I feel like it re makes them read it more because like I usually don't read it until like I hear about it. I think it. Uh, made them like read the book more. Its popularity skyrocketed once the movie came out. Some people I know, they're gonna go, I don't want the next movie to be spoiled for me, so I'm not gonna go read the books. But other people are gonna be like, oh, I have to know what's happening now. For me, I don't really like reading that much. So when a movie comes out, I'm like, F the book, I don't need this. But then I have to wait X amount of months for the movie to come out and I'm like banging my head against the table because I'm like, this was so good. So that's actually why I read the books. What part of Mockingjay are you most excited to see on the big screen? PETA. <laughs> Just PETA. <laughs> I wish it was all him. Uh, anything with Josh Hutcherson. When they go rescue <laughs> I'm most excited and most nervous to see Primrose. <laughs> Finnick. Even though up to this point it was one book for one movie, now that it's the last book, they're breaking it up into two different movies. Like every other movie nowadays. Oh my god. What do you think about that? I'm excited because that's just like more movies. Yeah, I love movies. Why not? It's obviously like for money. If you divide it into two parts, that's more profit. I hate it. it. Pisses me off. You can make one movie out of it. You did it with all the other ones too. For Harry Potter, I think it was really smart of them to do it because I mean that book's like 800 pages of Mockingjay and like Divergent and the May. I'm like, really? If the book doesn't call for it, you don't need to do it. One of the stars, Philip Seymour Hoffman, passed away before he could finish both movies but will be appearing in it. Are you familiar with any of his other work? Like Capote. That was amazing. I was very fortunate to 
have like a second of his time at the Catching Fire premiere and I have his autograph on my poster. He's an amazing actor. I just haven't really had a chance to watch his work, though I want to. Do you think that the hype for The Hunger Games now is the same or is it less than it was a few years ago when the first movie was coming out? I don't know. I mean, I read The Hunger Games when the hype started to happen. I just think it keeps getting bigger and bigger because everyone knows the finale is happening. Nobody talks about The Hunger Games. I haven't heard anything about the new movie. When the first movie came out, like everyone's like, oh, Hunger Games, blah. Uh. But now like it's like you, nobody even talks about that. I was in middle school when the first one came out. Everyone at my school would always talk about it, and they were like freaking out. And even though this trailer's out, no one, I didn't even realize that the trailer was out. No one has talked about it at at all. So what do you want to say to the people out there that have chosen not to read the books or seen the movies because of hype? Let's make a club. Don't be biased, bro. That's exactly how I felt. I thought there was going to be too much hype, but you, you got to go watch it. It's pretty good. Stop being such a freaking hipster. Get your head out of your butt and stop pretending like you're one of those people like, I'm a non-conformist and just because everyone likes it, I can't like it. You're missing out, so if you can live with that, then you do you, but... <laughs> if that's your reason, you're just a giant hipster, and it's lame. Shut the f*** up. Read the f book. We're gonna end the episode the same way we've done when we've covered The Hunger Games before. Do you plan to see Mockingjay Part 1 at midnight? Opening weekend, but not at midnight. Sometime in the theater, but not opening weekend. Later at home, or not at all? Um... Probably at home sometime later. Never. I'll probably see it opening weekend. Probably see it opening weekend. In the theater, but not on opening weekend. I will not watch it. <laughs> opening weekend. Probably watch it at home in theaters. The last two movies I've camped out at the world or at the Los Angeles premiere, so that's the plan again this year. I've seen it at midnight. I'm taking all my friends. We're gonna see it at midnight. I'll be like, yeah! Go Katniss! Thanks for watching another episode of Teens React. Make sure to subscribe to the React channel. There are new shows over there every week. See you later. Whistle in the distance. May the odds be ever in your favor. Goodbye.